There's a thousand different ways to do CICD. Actually, there's probably a million. Here is just one way in this video. I was setting up a CI pipeline for a Spring Boot app on OpenShift and thought it was worthwhile recording and sharing with you so you can see a bit of behind the scenes stuff. If you have any feedback on the video, let me know below and I hope you enjoy. Hello, a new video for you today. I'm setting up a CI pipeline for a Spring Boot app and I just wanted to show you what I've done and hopefully you might find this useful in setting up your own pipelines. So I have a Spring Boot app here that I've got in a repo here on GitHub. I will ping the link underneath after this video so you can go and take a look. It is a Docker build, so I've got a Docker file here. So I've got first a build stage where I'm going to run a Maven install inside a Maven container. And then my second phase or my second stage of the build is going to take that jar, that wonderful Spring Boot goodness in a jar and inject it into a new image so that we keep the final container image small. And this has been running fine, but what I'd like to do is have a bit of CI around this and automation so I'm not always just manually hitting this Docker build all the time. So in order to do that, I have spun up a instance of Jenkins inside OpenShift. Now you might think, why Jenkins? It can still do loads of things. There's still a really good ecosystem of plugins out there that can do reporting and testing and all this kind of stuff. And it is just relatively easy to use. One of these days I might do a video on Tekton, but until then, Jenkins is our friend. So I've created a, uh, an instance of Jenkins here. You, if I go to OpenShift, you can see it's running inside OpenShift. Here it is running my uh, Jenkins instance. You can create one of these from one of the templates included in OpenShift. Just go to the catalog and find Jenkins and click install. So I've got Jenkins. I've actually got green here, which is unusual for me. Normally all my pipelines are always running red. So this is a rare occasion you've seen this, but I want to show you what I've configured. I've configured a job here called Tom's Wonderful Job. And I want it to run a Jenkins file in my repo. And the Jenkins file is going to kick off my build. It's gonna run my Docker build and then push to a repository I have on Docker Hub. So we're gonna do a nice bit of CI run my unit tests if I have any. If you don't, that's not cool. And then it's gonna to push to Docker Hub as well. So if I show you what I have configured here, so I've just created a basic job inside uh, Jenkins. I'm gonna point it to my Git repository, which is here, which is the same one that I've just showed you. I'm telling it at the moment just to build in the develop branch because that's where I'm working at the moment. I will move this to master eventually, but I just wanted to capture this video first in the develop branch. And then it's gonna look for a Jenkins file in that branch, in the root of that Git repo. And I will show you, here is my Jenkins file. Here's one I created earlier. So in my develop branch, I've got a Jenkins file. I have taken this from a really awesome repository called Container Pipelines, which is from the Red Hat Communities of Practice organization, which is from here. So there are some really good Jenkins pipelines here. They've been maintained. There's a few different variants here. They're all suitable for doing stuff on OpenShift. I looked at the basic Spring Boot example and I've extracted that and I'm using that as a basis for my pipeline. Again, I'll ping the link to, to this repo underneath. Feel free to use this as a starting point. Uh, we're gonna have a few stages in the pipeline. It's going to check out my source code from Git using the Git step. It's going to run uh, Maven clean install. That shouldn't be there. We will remove that. Uh, it's also, and then it's gonna do my binary build. Now my binary build is an OpenShift thing, which is going to take my source code and it's going to compile it inside a container and then it's going to push the resulting Docker image to Docker Hub. And that's what this is going to do, this step. And I'll show you, it's going to run a build config in OpenShift. And I've created a build config. I will show you it right now. My build config is here. It's called Hello Java. It's going to, uh, it's going to do a Docker build. It's going to push to my image here, docker.io monodoc. You can't see it here, but it's a binary build, which means this build config expects some code or a directory to be streamed up to it. And then the build config will act upon the, the, the files it's been given. 
So all of this adds up to a pipeline, which I will kick off now. So if I run that build now, and while that is running in the background, I will fix that error that I just saw there. So I'm going to get rid of that stage of the Jenkins pipeline. I've now logged into GitHub and I'm going to remove this section of the pipeline that I said doesn't need to be there. So because I was just hacking away at this this morning, there's a redundant step here. I'm going to get rid of this. Don't need to run that. I've got my Maven install step inside my Docker file here. So everything's going to run inside my Docker build. Why would I do this? Well, it makes this more portable. So if I put all my instructions in a Docker file, then I can run this inside a build in OpenShift. I can run it on my local machine. I can run it basically anywhere. So that's what is really good about putting about using a Docker file for your build instructions. So I've removed that stage. I'm just going to commit, commit to develop branch. So let's see how the pipeline went on. The one I just ran before, here it is completed. Build number 11, it does a whole bunch of stuff. It downloads the internet as usual because it's Maven. And then at the bottom, what we will see is it will push the image up to Docker Hub. So let's see. Yep, it, it's, once it's completed my Maven build, it's now going to run my uh, the next stage of the build from the Docker file. So it's going to now inject that jar file into the final image. And then finally, it's going to push up to my personal account on Docker Hub, which is here. So let's just check to see that the image is actually there on Docker Hub. Cool, that image latest, pushed a minute ago, that's cool. The one other thing you'll need to do is you'll just need to set up a secret so that OpenShift can authenticate to Docker Hub and push your image. But if I check here, it should show me that my build completed. Yeah. Hello, Java 6, three minutes ago. It did stuff. It pushed to my repo and it used my secret here. And I'll give you the command to do that. Tom's secret and it pushed up to GitHub. There we go. A simple CI, continuous integration pipeline, building a Docker image using Jenkins on OpenShift. See you next time.